Hi friends, in this video we will discuss about how to parallelize a serial UDF that we use in ANSYS Fluent. So you can see on the screen. So first any data or any information that you will be giving is going to Cortex. From the Cortex it's, uh, it's like a host. After that it will be entered. So host is the part which will not do any calculations or anything. It will just transfer the information to the compute node 0. And from compute node 0, the entire information will be transferred to the different nodes. So these nodes are nothing but the number of cores what we generally use in ANSYS Fluent window. So it's a number of cores. So these cores can vary from 0 to 16, 64 or 120 anything. If you remind like core 1, then it is a serial processing. And apart from core 1, if it is more than core 1, then it is a parallel processing. So as you can see on the screen, host will not have any of variables of car fluent. So if you try to write any message on the host, it cannot be printed. So any message need to be written only on the node processes. And if you want to write message only once, then it is uh, it should be a good habit of writing on a node 0 or node 1 or node 2. So it's like we need to declare that if node 0 only we should ask to write a message. If not declaring in this way and just writing a message that message will be typed down or it will be presented on the console of Fluent for number of course that you present in the Fluent. So they should not use that regular way so that will not be a correct procedure. So I'll just show you uh, an UDF of comparison between serial and uh, parallel. So, so this is a left hand side which is a serial, right hand side it is a parallel. So uh, as I've stated, all the variables or the calculations, everything should be happen on the node. So that's the reason why we need to mention here, if not equals to RP underscore host. So if not RP underscore host means, so it is written or it will be executed only on serial or node processes, right? So if it is, if you remove this not equal to symbol, you remove this symbol, then it will not be executed because it is a host. The host will not have access to these variables with like works. Uh, like I am node 0 or like begin f loop and all these variables will not be accessed or will not be present underscore in the rp underscore host. So these all variables will be only present on the node sections. That's the reason why you need to give if not equals to rp underscore host. Right. And the next point is uh, so if you just want to print anything, the printing of the variables that are present inside a node, then you need to clearly mention that one node or two node or three node so that's the reason why i'm just showing you here you that if parallel I mean if it is a parallel process then it will enter and it will check if i am node 0 p yes if it is node 0 p then it will try to open this file so if it is not node 0 p it will not open the file Right. See if it is uh, if it is node one also, you can try to open the file. See instead of mentioning this statement, if you don't mention this set of statements, what happens is the file will be opened. Number of nodes present in the uh, fluent. So if it is four number of cores, what you are giving, then automatically four times the file will be opened, which should not be done. It should be opened only once. So that's the reason why we need to assign to one node to open the file. And after that, we can execute this set of statements, right? Now, when you go to the uh, face loop iterative, so in the face loop, so there is every possibility. I'll just indicate with this. So we can take this as a face loop. So when you have, for example, two cores, in the two cores, one core will take care of this cell, and the second core will take care of this cell, but when it comes to the phase variable, so there is a phase that is shared commonly between these two partitions. This is interior and this is exterior to this interior, right? 
so this has a common face and here when you try to calculate a looping so it will try to loop over this particular cell and it also loop over this particular cell for node 2 I mean the code 2 will try to loop over this particular cell so in this looping and in this looping in the both loopings the face center will be taken care so which should not be happen it should be taken care only once it should not be happen taken care twice if it is taken care twice our results will be wrong so results are wrong so that is the reason why when you try to use a face loop it should be written with a statement called if principal underscore face underscore p f comma t so with this statement only you should loop over the face loop if you don't mention this in the parallel mode it will try gives the error but it is now not the case with the your cell loop because cell loop will not have any shared faces or shared cells okay and now if you want to print any value or any minimum value or maximum value so you need to use this prf underscore gr underscore low one or pr underscore gr underscore high one so there is a global reduction macros what we can use in order to extract the either global minimum or global maximum or else if you try to directly mention this surface underscore minimum underscore temp it will try to print the minimum value in one node so it will try to print the minimum value of the cells that are taken care by one node so we don't want to have the minimum value of, of the cells that are taken care by taken care by one node we want to have the value taken care by all the nodes so in that case we need to specifically mention prf underscore gr underscore lower right and this data statements will be found or this variable cell can be found only on nodes so that is the reason why we are giving hash if rp underscore node and similarly hash and if so as we are opening if statement we need to close that if statement right and similarly now we are coming to the same set of statement to print down the values so in order to print the values also those variables will be present only in the nodes that is the reason why and that too we want only one time this printing we should not have many time many times this printing so that's the reason why you are trying to select if i am node 0p so it node 0p it means only at once it will try to print these lines surface minimum surface maximum surface average and then we will try to close the opened file here also we are trying to close it once we need not close five times or six times it is only once we need to close because once we have opened so using this i am node 0p you are trying to close once and again at last we are trying to close the end if statement which you have opened here hash if not equals to rp host right so you need to clearly remember that any variables if you want to use in a parallelization you need to make or wrap the set of statements between hash if not rp host and end if so this is a compulsory what we need to do in order to use the variables under the node processes or in parallelization and the other point is the begin f loop you need to be very cautious in order to use the parallelization by using if principal face underscore p underscore f comma t apart from these two we want to extract anything from the udf so we need to use a global reduction macros or else it will be trapped inside a local minimas right so these are the difference between serial and parallel udf uh, that we generally see in the udf manual or anywhere in the internet so this is a uh, bit of explanation uh, what is exactly difference between a serial and parallel udfs and uh, right hand side you can see different other statements these statement can also be used instead of uh, the statements what is mentioned here so these are uh, directly you can understand what exactly now this means so hopefully you understood uh, what is the difference between serial and parallel udfs so please try to subscribe uh, like and share the video among your groups so that uh, it will be an encouraging uh, uh, like for me thank you